Hi guys, so it's Timu time. Now, me and Sharon are a bit late for this Timu party. Basically, I thought it was a big scam, but then when we started delivering loads of the parcels through work and I was asking people and everybody seemed to be raving about it and saying, nope, it does what it says in the tin. Cheap, cheerful, everything's here within a week. Um, free shipping. So I thought I would maybe go and order some stuff, but then Timu approached me about doing some product reviews for them. So, Timu have sent all this out, I've not paid for this. Um, and it will be an honest review, I'm not going to lie, do you know what I mean? I've told them that. So, let's see what we got then. So, what we do have is some of their hottest electrical items and also some camper van gadgets, some kind of must-haves for your van. So, we have a selfie stick for the cameras. It's more than a selfie stick, it's a tripod as well. And it's also Bluetooth remote control so that you can take pictures when you're not close. We've got some wireless microphones. Now we've been needing microphones and just not had the money to pay for a really good set. And really the only issues we have, the cameras that we use are pretty good, apart from on a windy day. So I thought we'll get these for a nice windy day. Here we go. We've got two in there, they're wireless. I've got USB-C connection and connection for the iPhone. And I also ordered a wind muff. Right, next thing we have, it's not electrical, but it's for an electrical item. So, it's a suction stand for the van so that we can have, well, when I go to show you what we can do with this, I'm hoping that it's going to stick on the outside of the van as well as the inside of the van and we can have it on the windows. Just get some nicer shots when we're driving instead of it just being in front or facing us. So that's the electrical stuff. But then what we've also got is a veggie slicer. Now, I don't know if any, I'm going to show my age here, but I don't know if anybody remembers like Betterware and Clean Easy. And QVC actually, they always had these things on and I always wanted one when I was V, but my mum always said they were a lot of rubbish, they didn't work. So we never got one. So, got one of these to see if they actually work. I will have to take this back to the house and try it because I've not got any veg over here. A draining board for the van, a pop-up draining board. So, we're not using the sink yet. We use a pop-up sink and we've no way to drain the dishes. So, hopefully this is just what it says. Here we go. We have space in there to put our plates in that. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't just leap right through though. I was hoping that would have like a, a full base and you can just gather the water up and then drain it into the waste water. But, so, I'm not going to do a test this. It is what it is. It's a draining board. There's space here to put your plates in. Space here to put your cutlery in. It is what it is. And obviously that one has to go back home as well to test. Right, we're back in the house and I'm going to try this thing. Thank God I'm back in the house. It is roasting out there. I reckon it must be hitting nearly 30 degrees out in that car park. But I'm not going to complain because it's the last day yet and I'm going to be sad tomorrow when it goes. Right, I'm just going to go and get all my stuff out and get prepped and we'll see if this works. Right guys, we're going to try this. So we've got an onion and a bit of a manky carrot but we're going to try the slicer first. So it does come with a guard, obviously you just put your carrot in, but I think I'm pretty safe. I'm nowhere near it. So, there we have some really thin slices of carrots. That could be done with being a bit thicker to be honest. And I'm not really going to, when are you ever going to slice your carrots that thin? be great for making crisps. Then all you have to do is unclip and put in, we're going to go for a grater.
Yep. Nicely grated carrot. So we have a bit for Dyson. Right. So I've watched somebody use one of these before. And they did have to use quite a bit of force to get it to go through. So some nicely diced onion. Well, that definitely works. Hundred percent. That will save some time to dice an onion as quickly as that and I'm sure I can probably get thicker blades for slicing as well. I'll look into that. So I'll put the link somewhere there, maybe there, maybe there. Put the links for everything up there. Um, there'll be an affiliate code. If you click on that, that'll take you into like kind of my page where you'll be able to get all the links for all these. If there's anything that you want to buy, I'll give you all the prices that everything's coming in at. It took under a week for all this to come around. It was about four days. Four days before for everything to arrive. So my thought process was we're needing to upgrade some of your kit for filming. I'll go for the electrical stuff and obviously we wanted some stuff for the van. But they do absolutely everything. You name it, you can get it. Right, selfie stick here. Now I've already opened this. And one thing I will say is I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out how to open this. It told you to unclip one, and that was it. But you have to unclip them all. Unclip them all, and... And you have quite a nice, solid tripod. Yep, and obviously you've got, you can move it about. It will take your phone. It will take your action cameras, GoPro, DJI. So, as far as quality and everything goes with Timu, do you know what I mean? It's like I paid £18 for this, for a tripod, and it will extend. It's a full size tripod. So, you can clearly see how long that is there. I can't even stand it up. Looks like that there. So, it's a full tripod does what it says is as much as it's stable I don't think I'd recommend putting anything heavier than a phone on it. Um, I don't think it's going to work with the DSLR camera I think I'll be too heavy for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the phone because what I've also noticed with the microphones are I think I might need a different connection to connect this to the action camera. I've already tried and it's not working, but it does work with the phone and it works great with the phone. And as we're really only needing it for windy days, it's not going to be the biggest issue in the world. On a windy day, we will be filming on phones. Right, we'll set the phone up on this with the mic and we'll see what the difference in quality is. Now, now I'm not using the microphones just now. I'm going to plug the microphones in and we shall see how that sounds. Right, so I think we're now recording with this. There's a car coming in, that's perfect timing, so hopefully you should be able to hear me louder than you normally would. The car would obviously take up some of the sound, but hopefully the microphone's nice and close, you're not really going to be picking that up as loudly as you normally would. Um, I've not really had a good chance to actually test these out. There's not a drop of wind today, so I can't test that, because I'm in the middle of this heat wave. Brilliant, absolutely loving that. I'm sweating, but I'm loving it. There we go. Sticking on there. I don't know if it'll work in the metal yeah, of the van. I'm sure it will. Hiya. So that's just quite good though because it means we can have the camera sitting inside of the van when we're filming outside. We don't have to worry about the wind knocking over tripods. It's pretty solid. I could probably pull the window off with it if I wanted. Yep, stays on the side of the van nice and strong as well. Apart from that one because I didn't put that on right. <laughs> yep, there we go. That's what it says, I'm sure it was only about four quid. <laughs> yep, and remember if you've not used Timu before there'll be a code there for you to download the app. Download the app and you'll get up to £100 worth of vouchers. So our daughter done it, she used the code and God I'm sure she got 
I think it, it did. It ended up she got over a hundred pounds worth of stuff for about twenty quid. So as far as quality goes, this selfie stick feels really solid. It really does. Um, the Bluetooth thing seems to work. Microphones. Only needed them for a windy day. I wasn't spending 150, 160 quid. Got them for 14. They are what they are. They work. They do the job. They're going to make my sound better on a windy day than it is just with the normal cam camera mics. Definitely, if you've no try, if you're not on the Timu train yet, jump aboard. Honestly, it is seriously so much fun. Nothing ever costs you what you think it's going to cost you. You'll go to buy something, and then you get to play games and spin stuff to get discounts. I've never paid full price for anything yet. Right, that's us. So remember, uh, check in the description. You'll get all the links here for everything. Prices there as well. There'll be a list of what I've, the exact stuff that I've ordered, if anybody wants to order the exact same. With the affiliation code. So if you're going to buy anything, if you use my code, then I get a wee bit of money. And remember guys, we're trying to See if we can figure it away making money so we can get around the world in the 800 pound camper van. If you work somehow.